Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make um, th some 300 Spartan van braces, which are arm guards, and I have one made already, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to make the other one so you have a pair. Of course, you're going you're gonna to want to make two, but it, com it comes out pretty good, looks pretty good, and it's made out of cardboard and paper mache, and it doesn't, you know, uh, it doesn't take that long to make, and it isn't that hard to make, you just have to let it dry overnight, that's the hardest part about it, so let me see. And it's paper mache because you want to be able to get your hand in there, and have it stay on your arm. See, there you go. So there's the van brace. And it's pretty durable, pretty nice. So, let me show you the, what you need to make this. You need a template that you can download from my website. I have that, you can just download it and print it up. You need a one cereal box, a few sheets of printer paper, newspaper, scissors, some super glue, a cup of flour, a cup of water, and some paint, if you want to paint it, I paint it gold, you can paint gold or bronze or something like that, any color you want, of course. And uh, the trickiest thing here you're going to need is, well, you're also going to need a little bit of masking tape, about uh, six or eight inches of masking tape. But the trickiest thing you're going to need here is some wire. And I want to explain to you a little bit about this wire. That's this section here that sticks up on this. See this? And that's super glued on. You super glue that on. And that, that, that's what makes the uh, van brace look uh, special. Um, you can use just plain old house wire and what I use here is this is telephone wire and what I did was to make it a little bit easier to work with I actually stripped off the coating and took the wires out and I just used the blank coating. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can do it either way you can use here's a piece here I have it's a little more flexible when it's just a blank coating. Alright so let me explain what to do. Okay the first thing you do is open up your cereal box cut out your template Put that on there and trace two of them. Make two temp two um, two templates, and then cut those out with scissors and fold them into a cone shape like this. So there you go, and put a layer of tape on that. Now you don't want to put a lot of tape on that because it actually isn't. You're not gonna. This isn't gonna hold. After the whole thing is done, you're gonna cut this and it'll maintain its shape because of the paper mache, and that way you can get your arm in there. So just cut those out, form them into the cone shapes, and then apply uh, your paper mache. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, mix yourself, mix yourself up some paper mache, and all that is right there is a cup of water, a cup of flour, and that's all you need, and maybe about a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon, sometimes around a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. And what the salt does is it, it acts as a preservative so it will um, keep it from getting moldy. So, then you cut up your newspaper into strips, then what you do is you just soak it in the flour like that, run off all the excess, and put that right on your van brace like that. Now you continue to do this until the whole thing is covered with two layers. Two layers should be sufficient. So I'm not going to show you how I do that. I'll show it to you when it's done with two layers covered. And take your time with that. Now once you get two layers of paper mache on there, take some uh, paper mache like this. Take, take some of the paper mache liquid and rub it on. A nice smooth coat on the whole thing. And then take your van brace template, and this is optional, you don't have to do this, but it will make it look a little better. Take your van brace template and put it right on there. And stick it right on there. And what this does is the paper mache is a little bit rough, and it comes out a little bit choppy. So, but if you put this temp if you put the template on there, this will be this will smooth out the whole thing, so when you paint it, it'll look more metallic. So this is totally optional. But um, if you want to, you have two templates, go ahead and do that. And see here in the back, this is where we're going to cut it so we can get our hand in there. But now you're all set. That's all set. That's going to look great. Now we'll put this aside overnight, let it dry, and then I'll show you how to finish it up. Okay, once the paper mache is dry, you cut yourself off four pieces of your wire and uh, remove the inside if you can. And uh, cut them first before you try to apply them. Cut them to the right size. And then all you do is you put them on your on, your, on your, your, your arm guard like this and tape them in place, a little bit of tape, one, one on the, this end, one on this end, and then these two down the, down the center like this, that's the pattern, and just tape them in place and then glue them in and you'll be done. Now an important thing to notice is that the, the break, the opening, the end, the start and the end of each one is here along the split where we're going to cut this. So you don't want to have to try to cut through that too. We're going to cut this so you can get your hand in there. So that's it. Tape, uh, super glue it in. 
Well, you could use regular glue even, but it just takes longer to dry. And then once it dries, you can paint it, and it's done. So, and there's the complete, here's the completed one right here. And that's it. I got on um, lots more uh, projects to do on my website, www.stormthecastle.com. And I also have done, so far, for the Spartan 300 stuff I've done. Now I've done the van braces, I've done the helmet, and I've done the spear. And I will be doing <clears throat> the shield, the um, breastplate, and possibly even the... Um, the leg guards so uh, stay tuned to my channel and thanks for watching